is one of the darkest moments in American history, and today all across the country, people are remembering Sunday's 15th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks. Family and friends of New, New York police officers killed on 9-11 marched through the streets of the city today. The mayor there and also the Homeland Security Secretary, Joe, uh, Jay Johnson, joined in that procession. 72 police officers were among the more than 2,000 people killed in the terrorist attacks at the World Trade Center. And in Washington today, members of Congress gathered on the steps of the Capitol building, as you see here. They prayed and sang along with the Marine Corps band as it played God Bless America. A moment of silence was held to honor the fallen. Channel 2's Ryan Korsgaard shows us how some are remembering the solemn observance. Now this is a quiet park, but keep in mind 15 years ago it was a busy place. Ambulances, fire trucks, even police cars all over, including one woman who came here as a police officer responding to an emergency. When terrorists flew two airliners into the Twin Towers of the World Trade Center, Ana Ruiz was a police officer working at NYPD headquarters not far from the World Trade Center. I saw uh, both buildings go down. At that point we were put into action and we responded and did the best that we could to help whoever we could. A year and a half later, with 20 years of service, she retired, she says, because of that day that changed the people, the skyline, and this former NYPD officer forever. Here, all these years later, what do you remember? Uh, just the worst part was the cloud of dust and the six to eight months later that you could still smell um, the sights, the sounds, and up until now, 15 years later, um, there's a lot of things that still trigger those feelings. The feelings are still raw. People here come to see the two giant memorials, waterfalls that cascade downward where the Twin Towers used to stand. They touch the names of the 2,606 lives that were lost here. It brings back a lot of bad feelings, a lot of hurt. And I don't think anybody understands what, what it's like to be from this area and, and how much it affected everybody's lives. He used to live here, but never made the short trip. It was simply too painful. That emotion that, that comes back from that tremendous loss of life and to, to realize that really we haven't taken any steps to protect ourselves. We're still, we're still vulnerable. Um, and I'm not real sure why we would even uh, or, or how we can ever feel safe again. Now, on this 15th anniversary of 9-11, as America stops to remember, one former police officer has a wish. What do you hope that people remember of this day of 9-11? Um, I think it should be a tribute to, to, to the first responders um, and the survivors. And she said the most important thing now, some 15 years later, she hopes that we all remember the names of the victims. In New York, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Channel 2 News.